So now the 44 Magnum is quite the potent round. I mean, uh, honestly, that's just common knowledge. However, for some, what the 44 Magnum has to offer simply isn't enough. And they're left with the question of how can we make the 44 Magnum even more potent than it already is? And the answer to that humble question lies with the humble 50 Action Express casing. What's up, guys? Skippy Epicanus here, and welcome back to another Couch of the Week episode, this week featuring the 429 Desert Eagle, or 429DE, as you will commonly see it labeled as. Which, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but bottleneck pistol rounds are perhaps my favorite calibers of all time, and uh, this one specifically is probably the largest bottleneck pistol caliber in existence, as currently the only other round that I can think of is the 440 Corbin, which, I mean, they're honestly pretty much the same in size, but this one is a lot more available. And as mentioned, I don't think they get any bigger than that, so already this being the biggest of the bottleneck pistol rounds, uh, definitely gets a plus for coolness in my book. Anyways, though, that's a little bit of a side tangent to start the video, but before we get into any more info on this particularly fascinating round, we'll first do what we always do and take a look at the head stamp, which on the top you can see MRI standing for Magnum Research Inc. And on the bottom you have 429DE for the caliber, of course, 429 Desert Eagle. So now this cartridge is relatively new, having been introduced in 2018 and being accepted into SAMI standardization in 2021. It is incredibly similar to the older 440 Corbin Desert Eagle loading, to the point that the 429 will chamber and fire in a Desert Eagle chambered for the 440 Corbin. However, to add to that, the 440 Corbin will not work in a Desert Eagle chambered for the 429, so sorry for those that want to shoot 440 Corbin. Now, as mentioned earlier, this is essentially a much hotter 44 Magnum loading, featuring the same 429 diameter bullet as well as similar weights, around the 210 to 240 grain weight range. However, on average, the 429 features a 25% increase in velocity as well as a 45 increase in energy over the standard 240 grain 44 Magnum loading. This is achieved, of course, thanks to the larger powder volume that the casing is able to hold, which, as mentioned, is simply a 50 Action Express case and has been necked down to the 44 caliber bullet. Now, one thing you will have likely noticed uh, with the casing is how the rim is much smaller than the actual case body. This cartridge features a rebated rim, and this rim is the exact same size as the rim of a 44 Magnum casing, meaning that should you wish to swap between 44 Magnum and 429DE, all that's required is another barrel and different magazines. The rest of the gun is designed to work with both calibers. Now, of course, this also means that 50AE is easily convertible to it as well, with one big difference being that with that particular cartridge, you can use the same magazines uh, interchangeably between the 429DE and the 50AE, and all you need to do is just swap the barrel out. Now this caliber was obviously designed with speed in mind, and that being said, what exactly are we looking at spec-wise with this particular caliber? Well, on average, the 429DE features anywhere from a 210 to 240 grain 429 diameter bullet with velocities ranging from 1625 feet per second on the heavier loads and 1750 feet per second on the lighter loads. Now that being said, uh, I could have sworn I'd seen loads with 300 grain bullets. However, when I went to look, I couldn't seem to find them anywhere, though granted, as I always say, uh, if the bullet weight exists for a caliber, then there's bound to be someone to put it in the case. Now, overall, when it comes to this caliber, it does appear to be a particularly niche caliber. For starters, at least, from what I found, it's the it's only chambered in Desert Eagles, which even as far as custom chamberings, I wasn't able to find, uh, you know, anyone bothering to attempt to put this in anything else other than a Desert Eagle. So far, however, ammo does appear to still be readily available online. However, given the previously mentioned lack of guns chambered for this caliber, as well as people in general, uh, you know, Preferring the much more common 357, 44, or especially the 50 AE chamberings for the Desert Eagles uh, in particular, it honestly doesn't look too good for the 429 Desert Eagle. I would honestly say it's it's probably going to be another 440 Corbin. Uh, now, looking into the 429, I know me in particular, I think I would rather go with the 429 solely because of bullet selection. As mentioned, it uses the same bullets of 44 Magnum. There's a lot more different, you know, 429 bullets than there is, you know, the 50, the 50 caliber bullets. However, most people shooting the Desert Eagles probably aren't really thinking about that. Uh, I don't see this particular cartridge as cool and as neat as it is really lasting too long. Granted, it is still a new cartridge and you know, we've certainly seen weirder cartridges succeed on this channel. So who knows, maybe this will be the next big thing for just pistols in general. But anyways, I think that is gonna do it for this week's Cartridge Week episode featuring the 429 Desert Eagle. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I personally enjoyed making it. I will see y'all next time.